It doesn't look like much is happening from a distance, but underneath this canopy, there's a whole lot of inking going on. That's why Emily Kehoe made the six-hour track to Tyandanaga from Sudbury. This is her first hand poke tattoo. I think it's a really good cause. I think that um, it's bringing awareness to traditions, and I really am into that. Kehoe is getting inked by Odinamod Turningwind, a self-taught artist. It's his first gathering. He came to support and learn from other traditional Indigenous tattoo artists. He says it's a process of reconciliation. It's part of um, uh, a holistic uh, um, worldview, I, I think, in different cultures uh, across nations, um, which has been heavily suppressed by uh, our colonizers, um, which uh, the stigma and the taboo is coming from also. And I feel the sense of uh, empowerment coming off uh, the clients that, 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 that we have. I don't, I'm pretty confident to, to say that that's for all the tattooers here at the gathering also, is that uh, people really um, are proud to, to wear their, uh, their, their, their imagery, their spiritual connection like on their body, as uh, some of our ancestors uh, have done before. And um, yeah, I almost see it as a spiritual ar armor, you know, um, you know, whether it's for coming of age or uh, signifying a certain walks of life or uh, achievements. So it's important. Turning Wind is one of over 20 tattoo practitioners participating in the four day event. With so many professionals in one place, Leah Grossbeck jumped at the opportunity. My name is Ziguan Quay. And what it translates to is um, the woman. I'm a, the woman under the water, um, directing like the current, directing the water, telling the water where to go, basically. So the symbols I chose are um, like the pictographs, and it's uh, water and the woman. For tattooists like Mel Lefebvre, it's a chance to learn more about the skin stitch from her mentor. Dion Kazis. Uh, you could essentially get a full line, but usually I leave a dash in between uh, because a lot of people don't know about skin stitching or the revival of the technique. And so when I first started the work, I decided I would leave a, a dash in between so that when people look at it, they go, oh, what's that? Because they'll know it's different. And then that gives an opportunity to educate about the revival and what the meaning of the revival of our tattooing practices is. Organizer Seth Lafort is pleased with the turnout. Reclaiming our tattoo culture is a, is a part of that process of rehabilitating from, a, from the residential school experience and the Indian Day School and the Catholicism and the Anglicanism, all that. And uh, so I really believe that. And uh, that's why I, that's why I embrace this so much. And so um, it's part of the reason why this this uh, gathering got called because people were calling me saying we need to do something. We need to do something. People need something. They're hurting. And I could see that. Mm -hmm. I could see people were hurting, especially with all the schools that have been found and all the land land issues that's been coming up. Lafort says it's the third gathering of its kind to be held on Turtle Island, and he's hoping to see more. Annette Francis, APTN National News, Tandanega, Mohawk Territory.